Hey, welcome back to Ramseyland. Today I've got a beaker filled with water and two empty beakers. I wonder what will happen if I add some water to this beaker. <gasps> Look at that, it turned pink. I wonder what would happen if I add it to this speaker. Look at that, it turned clear again. What is going on here? How's that possible? All I'm using in this demonstration are three beakers. One has some water and the other two are empty. I'm using phenothaline as an indicator, ammonium hydroxide, and 12 molar hydrochloric acid. The first step is just to add a drop of phenothaline to your water. Next, you're gonna very carefully take just a few drops of your 12 molar hydrochloric acid and you're just gonna line the beaker with a little bit of HCl. And you're just gonna kinda of roll it so you increase the surface area, helping that hydrochloric acid to coat the walls of the beaker, just like this. So it looks empty. In the same way, you're gonna take your other empty beaker and you're just gonna put a few drops of ammonium hydroxide along the wall, just like you did with the hydrochloric acid. And in, in the same way, you're just gonna kind of roll it around so it coats the wall of the beaker. Just like that. Okay, so now you're ready to take your beaker of water that has a few drops of phenothaline and you're gonna add it to the beaker that has your ammonium hydroxide coating the walls and you'll see it turn color. And that's because phenothaline changes its color in the presence of a base. It's clear in water or anything that's acidic. Then you're gonna take your beaker that's changed color and you're gonna pour it into your other beaker that's coated with hydrochloric acid. And that's when you observe a neutralization reaction where that hydrochloric acid neutralizes the ammonium hydroxide. This is also a double displacement reaction as it turns clear again. Just a great demonstration. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on in this reaction. We start out with ammonium hydroxide, that's the NH4OH, and we add that to 12 molar hydrochloric acid, that's the HCl. Now, when those two combine, they create the products ammonium chloride, that's NH4Cl, and water, H2O. So this is a double displacement reaction. It's also a neutralization reaction. So your NH4OH, that's your ammonium hydroxide, that has has negatively charged hydroxyl ions and that combines with hydrochloric acid that has positively charged hydrogen ions. So when those come together, they neutralize each other and they create the ionic salt ammonium chloride, the NH4Cl and water. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.